All of a sudden, the AMC brand, which is really strong in cable, it was a really powerful cable brand, is a diluted brand in streaming. And so if you are looking at a potential acquisition down the road, in the sense that AMC would be acquired, and and this is even before we get into, could they be sold for parts? But if you're looking at acquiring that company all in one, and the only people who can really do that or would be interested in it is something like an Apple, something like an Amazon, what are you actually getting with that acquisition? You're not necessarily getting Breaking Bad. You're not necessarily getting Better Call Saul. You're not necessarily getting Mad Men. So you get all these other shows, The Walking Dead being the biggest one, of course, and The Walking Dead spinoffs. But are audiences going to sign up for Apple TV Plus just for The Walking Dead and some other um, AMC shows that they might not have heard of? Probably not. Does it make more sense for a company who acquires AMC to continue licensing out those shows at a premium rate because it is valuable in Netflix? Yes. And so then therefore, what is the AMC brand in the streaming age is a really important question. 